All right, everybody, welcome back to Risen Sun Adventures. Today, we're going to do some maintenance on the Hobie Mirage Drive. This is the wheel horse of my Hobie PA-14, and I tournament fish, and without this right here, I couldn't get to where I need to go. We're going to show you some things. I know everyone has had this issue. If you look at the pedals, they're supposed to actually spring back. I know a lot of people, it has, when it when you get the Hobie Drive, it comes with little straps to put your foot up in. I mean, they're really nice. They look really good, but... I mean, we got big feet, fellas. I mean, when we're out there on the water, we're trying to get to things fast, and we want our pedals to pop up, we want to put our feet on the pedals, and we want to take off. So if you look for the years that I have had this drive, I make sure to keep it clean, I make sure to keep it greased, I make sure to make sure my fins are wiped down. Uh, before I take it out on the water, I make sure that my um, all my pulleys, my chains, everything is, is lubed up. I take care of this drive. I mean, it's a $1,000 and it is like i said it's the wheel horse of the hobie pa brand i mean the mirage drive is a top-notch drive uh, they're coming out with new parts um, through many of the years you have the 360 drive you've got the pop-up fins this here is the 180 for the reverse and i love the 180 drive um, i know you've got the native kayaks it's the automatic reverse where you're backpedaling but guys if you have bad knees and you have some medical issues hobie is the way to go uh, it is a very push-push mechanism. Great, um, it is a great wheel horse for that type of uh, injury. I mean, you don't have any weight on your legs. You're just pushing, and um, it's just a marvelous thing. But I'm sure all of us have had the issues to where we have these pedals, and you see how they just flop around. Well, what's happened is the bungee cord that causes them to pop back up into place and give you that platform needed has worn out. Well guys, today we're gonna to show you how to fix it. So stay tuned and we'll get with the project. All right, the tools that you're gonna need for this are one, I went ahead and bought some 1 8 inch grade shock cord. And if you know anything about my kayak, and anything about Risen Sun Adventures, uh, my kayak is green marine mat with an orange underlay. So everything pretty much on my kayak's got some type of orange accent. So what did I do? I went out and bought me some 1 8 inch orange marine grade shock cord. And that's what we're gonna replace this with. So you're gonna need your shock cord. Um, you can get it at Sergeant Knott's. I will put a link on the description, uh, show you where to get it. And um, like I said, this is a, a great place to shop for your, your cordage. Um, I actually got the large bungee cord where I'd done a mod and changed out the uh, back bungee cord that's into the um, well house in the very back of the PA and it, it looks absolutely awesome. You're going to need an Allen wrench set because you're going to use the 964th because both of these little pins up here are Allen screws. So you're going to need a 964th Allen wrench, a small pair of scissors to cut your paracord, and you're going to need some this is a waterproof caulk seal. This is a Gorilla Seal. And all I'm gonna use this for is to seal inside to where that little cord is so that it actually just gives it something to grip onto. And those are the tools you're gonna to need. And you can also get you some type of little towel just to wipe down stuff. Uh, make sure you check and wipe down all of your, your parts. And while you're doing small maintenances to your drive, Make sure you're checking out some of the other stuff. Make sure everything is moving freely. Uh, check your, your pull tabs. Uh, you wanna check and make sure that your chains are tight. Um, make sure your nuts and stuff are tight. Usually when I go out after probably about six, seven times, I usually make sure I do a quarter turn on each one of those just to make sure that I'm safe on the water. So let's get to it. and. Uh, let's show you how to take this thing apart. All right, so the first thing we're going to do, we've got a 964th Allen wrench, and we want to unscrew this Allen bolt right here. And you just loosen it up real good. And you're going to pop it right off. And as you can see, you got a little a little notch right in here, and that's what's going to hold this in once you um, put it back in there. But we're going to actually put some silicone in there too, just to make sure. 
and then you want to reach into here on this back side use your small scissors if you got them grab here and just pull that piece of bungee out just like so and then we're going to take a piece of bungee and this pack came it's 25 25 feet so cut you off a pretty good length there and then you're going to come back in here we'll put a little bit of silicone in there and you're just going to put that in there like that and then if you look right here <clears throat> this right here has a notch on it so you it's got a notch right here and that piece of bungee will just lay right in that notch. So you'll put that back in there like that. Make sure you tighten it up really, really good. And then there's your piece of bungee right there. All right, once you got your piece of in bungee cord in there, I noticed when you cut it, uh, it's gonna fray a little bit. So go ahead and take your lighter and wet heat seal, heat that up. And then you want to Come over top thread your bungee through so guys if you notice what I did so you take your bungee coming out of here you want to go over top of the pedal and you want to pull it tight what I'm doing here is that when this is tight it's going to kick it up so I can actually it's going to push this pedal right back towards the front of the boat this is the front this is going towards the angler when it is in so this is how you want to do that so you want to come here tighten it up Tie you a little overhand knot. Like I said, you want to tighten that up really good. Move that knot down there. As close as you can get it. And see, that's going to be too loose. So you don't want that. So now you want to make sure that you Come back a little bit further, tighten it up some more, and you just keep working at it until you get it to where you want it. All right, guys, that's how you want it. You want it tight enough to where it's going to pull, pull that back up. Boop, it's going to pop it right back up. So you'll start out, tie your knot, tie you another one in there, come back in after you get it the way you want it. Boop pops right up and then you want to come back in here go ahead and trim off your edge or your end heat seal it and then it's done
and you go do the same thing to the next one. All right, guys, you can see with just a little bit of work, a little bit of bungee, pedals are back to there. And like I said, make them match your kayak. Uh, there's tons of options out there. Uh, I know Sergeant Knots has tons of colors. Make sure you check them out. Make sure you look at the description below. Guys, thank you for stopping by the channel. Like I said at the beginning, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It's the only way I can grow. 373 at this time. Guys, help me get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Thank you for stopping by. And remember, guys, the sun is always shining, even in the rain. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one.